Pika turns text into amazing videos. It's the most popular AI video generator. But maybe you don't know how Pika went from Discord to their own website and what has changed, how to do text to video, image to video, and video to video, and what does expand canvas, modify region, or motion controls do? Well, I'll show you everything step by step, even if you've never used Pika before, so you can create even better videos with AI. And by the end of this video, I'll show you what's the price and how much can you do for free. Step number one, go to pika.art slash login. There should be a link in the description. Here you can see some of the incredible examples that you can make, but what we are interested in is actually just signing up. You can sign up with Google or Discord, and we're now on the inside. As you can see, they have an explore page as well in the bottom, they have the prompts that I'm going to show you right now. As you can see, you can write text here. You can also upload an image or video as well as having these video option, motion control and parameters. So stick with me to see what makes a difference. But first, we're gonna take a look at some examples here on the explore page. Here is one video of an anime girl where the camera is coming through like this doorway. This one is a cinematic fireworks NYC skyline and I think they put the motion to zoom in on this one and it has more a realistic style. This is a POV from a cathedral on the inside. Here, a natural geographic documentary scuba discovers hybrid life form, half vegetal, half squid, half orchid. I really like how it looks like. However, it does have some sort of, I don't know, it seems like 3D effect, kind of like a low resolution render. Let's see if we can find even better clips. Cinematic shot of a seagull, I mean, even this is doing 15 seconds, which we can expand. It's looking very, very beautiful. I love how the camera movement is zooming out and you can actually see more of the rail as well as the sailboat. All is in perspective, which is very hard to get by other video generation softwares. Here we have some more anime type style with the capes kind of flowing in the background with this energy beam coming out as well. That's pretty sick. Here as well, a anime style duel between two samurais. It's absolutely beautiful. Here's another one of the samurai thing. I think it looks so cool. Here you have a little bit more silly one of chickens, 1960s grainy film. This could actually be some sort of intro to a music video. Look at this style as well, like a small girl with a nervous pet monkey climbing. <laughs> she actually just turned into a monkey. I love her facial expression and also how kind of the camera movement in the background stays very much similar. And you have this one as well. Jesus Christ. The style is definitely some sort of like old school video game, but you've never been able to generate things like this with AI before. <laughs> Look at this one, Jesus Christ. You now seen some really cool examples, but how do you do? If you love AI like me, there's something I wanna to talk to you about that has been incredible to my mission to get deep understanding of AI, and that is Blinkist. Blinkist is an amazing app that condenses 6,500 nonfiction books and podcasts into 15 minute short summaries. So you can achieve your new year's resolution faster and easier. A book I've been reading is called Human Compatible by Stuart Russell, which is a good reminder of letting AI work for us instead of the opposite. With Blinkist, I could easily go through this book and many others in AI and take out the key information information or so-called blinks with audio and text. What's even more exciting is that they've added an AI chatbot, which is kind of like your AI librarian. They just added a new feature called spaces where you can add friends and families, recommend titles, and everyone in the space can access those books even without a premium subscription. Now, because I love Blinkist and I know you're gonna love it too, I have a special offer. You can get a seven day free trial with 20% off an annual subscription using my link in the description down below. Thanks to Blinkist. You now seen some really cool examples, but how do you do 
text to video? Well, first, all we need to do is go down and describe your story. There's also a way where you can actually just click on retry on some of these that you find on the explore page if you want to make something like that for yourself. So I was actually really interested in seeing what happens here. So I'm gonna click on retry and you will see your video will start generating soon. So we just started right now and this is one of the benefits of Pika. You can generate like 10, 20 all at once and they generate pretty fast. But let's do an actual text prompt here, like monkey eating banana in style of a cartoon, post in style of anime, 3D render in style of pixel art. So I basically did a bunch of them right now just to show you what is possible. So here is the tiger walking that we did. It's not walking, but I mean, it is in the forest. And here we have all the different styles of monkey eating bananas. Here is the in the style of cartoon. Here is the style of anime. It actually looks really cute. Here's the style of 3D render. His eyes going just crazy. Here's in the style of Disney animation. Everything is completely still except the mouth. Here's the style of pixel animation. Here's the style of pixel art. I think this one is like one of my favorites so far. This could actually just go into a video game right away. And here you have style of cinematic. So you might see that the text to video is fine, but it isn't as good as the next option, which is image to video. So if I go to ChatGPT and I generate an image, monkey eating banana in pixel art, here is the picture we got. I'm just gonna download it. I'm gonna drag it in here and prompt it monkey eating banana. And I'm gonna generate some more images. Here's another image. Here's another image. This old school car too. This steampunk image and this robot walking through the city. I put them all through image to video without any of the different settings like motion control. And here are the results. As you can see, this monkey eating banana kind of turns into a monkey in the bottom here that kind of takes the banana. Here's the airplane flying through the clouds. It actually feels like it's not flying. It's just like the sun shining on it. Here is a cat sitting in the airplane and we only get like a zoom in motion. Here's an old school car driving through the city. Here is steampunk man at Burning Man. And here is humanoid robot walking through the city. Usually you need to prompt it a little better. I'll show some tips at the end on how to get better prompting as well as how you can edit all of it to make it even better. But before that, let's do video to video. So I found this video on YouTube Shorts. So let's download that. I'm gonna drag it in here. I'm gonna prompt it in style of claymation and see what happens. I'll try many other prompts as well. So that didn't work out. Here is the prompt in style of claymation. Here is the style of woman as superhero. Here I said silver woman, didn't really work so well. Here I said very fashionable. This one is minimalistic, which is one of my favorites. It's like a shadow figure. And the prompt here, glowing neon. It's worth noting that it only does three seconds here. And I wasn't so happy with any of these results. So I'm gonna do a more detailed prompt. I also have this video that I wanna test from me. So you definitely get more detail if you prompt a little bit longer. I've seen people do amazing video to video work and here is me in the style of anime this is me in style of animation and man talking to the camera as a superhero if this guy was a superhero he would be drunk man so we now done text to video we did image to video as well as video to video generation in a minute i'll show you what is the price and how much you can do for free but before that, I wanna show you, go to the explore page and find one that you like. For example, this surfer. Now I wanna show you the add four seconds feature. So I'm just gonna click on it. And just like that, we get the entire prompt in here as well as the image they uploaded. And we're just gonna click on add four seconds. As you can see, you can also add the video options here like motion control as well as these parameters, but we're just gonna click on post. In addition, I'm gonna test the motion control. So you can see the camera control was actually set to the right. Now I'm gonna set it to tilt up. I'll generate another version, do rotate another version, and we'll do zoom in as well. In addition, we can also click the video options to select the frames per second. So you could do eight frames all the way up to 24. 
The last parameters are the negative prompts. So as you can see, ugly, bad, terrible, that will try to stay away from generating what you have here, like sand, beach, clouds. And they also have consistency with text. So this is how much more powerful the text will be compared to generating through images. We'll put this at the default and generate again. Here's the first iteration that was basic and it just keeps going to the left, nothing big changing. Here for the first three seconds, it goes well and then it's trying to tilt up for the last four seconds. I think I like how this one turned out the most. I really like how the sail is so detailed and especially at the end here, which is kind of slowing down. This one, everything is going normal and then it's starting to speed and starts zooming in slowly. But how do you use modify region? Well, I'm just going to click on it and how they show it in the tutorial is I'm going to select it around an object. Then what I'm going to do is change the object. So here you can see tiny photographic windsurfer. So I'm going to actually do boat instead. And it seems like there's some breaching sea monster. I don't know about that, but I'm just going to try to do this for now. Let's try to do some other prompts like a yacht and a jet ski. Here is the boat prompt. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Here I prompted it with a yacht, but it definitely didn't work. And here I prompted jet ski <laughs> and it actually gets some sort of sea monster in the bottom too. What? This is just insane. But what about this motion control? I'm going to prompt man camping, making food on a fire in front of a beautiful lake in the daytime. And we're going to do all the different motion controls. Let's do pan right. Let's do tilt up, rotate clockwise and zoom in. And we're going to put this strength of motion to max on all of them. It's also interesting that you can actually do multiple ones all at once. So we're going to try one of these as well. Here's the first one without any motion control. Here's the second one with the pan to the right. This one has a tilt up. This one is the rotate clockwise. I don't really see that. Here is the zoom in one. I really like the movement of that. And this one had all the different ones. So here you can definitely see the camera movement is way more dynamic. And now for my favorite feature is you can click on retry on all of them just like this. So I'm going to do retry on all of them. Basically, making you able to generate six new ones really fast. And you can keep scrolling through your generations to see which one do I want to reprompt, retry, remix, add some motion so you can get the best possible video with Pika Labs. But what's the price? As you can see, they do have a pretty generous free plan where you can get 30 initial credits that refills to 30 daily. That means you can generate a lot of videos actually completely for free. However, they will have a watermark. So if you step to the $8 per month, if you go yearly, at monthly, it's $10 per month. You get 700 credits renewed monthly, 30 credits renewed daily. You can purchase more credit at a discount. You get the upscale resolution, no watermark, and extend video length. When you get higher up in the pricing, you can see the yearly at the maximum is $58 per month. At monthly, that's 70 and the biggest difference is the unlimited chill generations as well as unlimited lighting generations. And you might be thinking, is it really worth it? To me, it depends who you are. If you're a filmmaker that want unique shots, I definitely believe it's worth it. And if you have a faceless YouTube channel where you rely a lot on voiceover as well as clips, this could be a perfect addition to your workflow. I am not sponsored by or affiliated with Pika Labs. I just like this software myself. Thanks for watching this Pika Labs tutorial. If you want to see how I made a full AI movie with Pika, click the next video on the screen now and I'll see you there.